OSHA forms of reporting work-related injuries or illnesses. Steve Hansen here, co-founder of the janitorialstore.com and myhousecleaningbiz.com. Say, you know, um, unfortunately, you know, there, uh, you do have uh, uh, injuries and illnesses that do happen in the workplace. And, you know, that's why we're always uh, uh, talking about doing safety training so we can hopefully prevent these from happening. But in either case, when they do happen, uh, we have to make sure that we are filling out the right reports and reporting things the, uh, uh, that we should. So typically when you have a uh, work-related illness or injury, um, you have to fill out some forms, some OSHA forms. Uh, and what I have here is, uh, uh, is uh, OSHA form uh, 301. Um, and uh, this here is actually, uh, the form 301 is actually the, one of the first forms that you should fill out. Uh, once you've been, uh, uh, when, once an injury or illness has been brought to your attention. Uh, in fact, you have to do that within seven days. So always remember that. That's probably the most important thing. Now, uh, if you're asking or wondering where you can get these forms, uh, the thing to do is just do a Google search for OSHA Form 300 and related uh, pages, and you'll be able to get uh, all the pages uh, that you need uh, for your OSHA reporting. But, uh, Anyway, so let's say uh, you have somebody that reported a, a, an accident uh, or an injury, uh, Ill, an injury or illness. Uh, you have uh, you have to fill out the form 300, uh, form 301, or form 301. You have to fill out within seven days of the incident. So always remember that, and they're pretty self-explanatory. Uh, when you're looking at these, you know, the, it, it has all the instructions and everything right here. It's very very self-explanatory. Uh, so they, they make it easy for you. So, um, the other thing is that what you want to do is, uh, and I had this bookmark so I could find it a little, uh, a little quicker, and one thing that you want to do is that uh, you have to keep a log also of, uh, of the Ill illnesses and injuries uh, that have occurred in your business, and with that, that's a Form 300, uh, that's where you log, log your work-related injuries and illnesses. And again, you know, they make it simple. You just follow the instructions on here and you'll be able to fill it out. Now, uh, you know, uh, once you read the instructions, you're going to see that, you know, obviously in some cases you would not uh, put a person's name and so on and so forth, uh, you know, uh, when, when it's a, a sensitive situation. But anyway, follow the instructions and you'll be able to fill it out uh, correctly and have no issues. Um, but the thing is that we have to fill these out. So, and what we always do is no matter what the injury, even if somebody just had a little scrape on their, uh, scrape on their finger or something like that there, we, we rather have them report that, um, you know, because it's, it's not that they had to go to the hospital or anything like that there, but we want them to report something like that because that little scrape could turn, turn into an infection, which in turn would cause them to have to go to the clinic or the hospital. So that's why we always tell our, the employees, to make sure that you you know let us know about every little little uh, injury that you may have, because it could turn into a, a big injury, uh, you know a big issue later. So that's why we always do that. You know, so once once the, uh, the supervisor are notified, you know their their job is to go ahead and and document it and and have everybody fill out the proper forms. <clears throat> so like I say, the first thing they do is they'd fill out the uh, form 301. You know, then they'd go here to the to the form 300 and put it on here. And you actually have another form that's the, the 300A, and what this is, it's a summary. Uh, uh, it's a summary of the work-related injuries and illnesses. Um, so again, just you know, follow the instructions that they have here, and uh, it's just going to give you you know a breakdown of the total. Uh, you know, if you had any deaths and so on and so forth, uh, total number of uh, cases with days away from work, uh, and and uh, things like that there. So, you know, it's good, it's just good, you have to do this, uh, and it's good information to have, uh, because, you know, if you're, if you're like us, we, we're really <laughs> strict on our, our safety, uh, you know, we don't want to have any, uh, any uh, Ill, uh, injuries or illnesses, uh, you know, ever, you know, but uh, there are times when th things happen, uh, and I'll tell you one story that uh, we had a time there for a while that uh, people were, were always getting... Uh, getting cuts on some dispensers and some of the dispensers that they're that they're putting out were uh, stainless steel and uh, you know rather than having a nice uh, uh, rounded edge or something to them you know it was kind of a sharp edge 
and uh, people would always be getting cut on them when they were filling the dispenser. And uh, so that was something that we had to address, you know. Uh, in any of the case, we had to go ahead and put it down on our report. And uh, so we did that. But uh, the other thing that I did is I changed dispensers. Um, you know, because obviously that was a, that's a, a, a safety hazard. So I did not want to continue to use that, that type of dispenser if it's going to continue to uh, uh, cause people to cut their fingers. So anyway, that's what we did. But uh, uh, the other thing too is that for the, uh, the Form 300A, uh, and I've posted this before on social media and, and other things, but you have to remember that this summary has to be posted from February 1st to, uh, uh, to April 30th. You know, of the year following the year of uh, the covered, uh, uh, you know, by by the form. So, uh, just remember that. Uh, put it on your Google Calendar or something like that. You know that you have to post this from uh, February first to April thirtieth. And again, it's just a summary uh, of your injuries and illnesses. And uh, you would uh, probably post this where you put your uh, your federal and state posters. Uh, um, uh, that where you post those, typically in your break room and, and things like that. You know, kind of a common area for. Uh, where employees uh, uh, would have access to it. Uh, and again, you know, like I say, there's in some situations on some of these reports, uh, you won't list people's names and things. And, uh, but uh, follow the instructions on, on, the re on the reports themselves and you'll be fine. Uh, it's not a big deal. But I just wanted to let everybody be aware of this because many people may not be aware that they should be doing this stuff. And uh, it's very, very important. You know, the, the one thing that, that happens is that if somebody were to get injured and they don't tell you about it, and then months later they, it ends up being an issue of, you know, uh, that was caused by the initial injury, well, you know, they could be, they could be de uh, uh, declined for workman's comp. So that's, again, why it's so important to make sure that your employees know that, you know, report injuries to us, you know. Uh, we have to be able to track it. We got to be able to manage it, and you know that's the only way we can do that is if we if we know about it. And like I say, the most important thing is that you don't want to have somebody get injured just because it's a little tiny scratch. You just think it's nothing, and that little tiny scratch gets infected and it turns into a big issue. That's the things that you want to avoid. So, so very important. So I wanted to share this with you. Uh, hopefully, you guys you find this helpful. And. Uh, and if you did, go ahead and click on the like and share button. And as usual, uh, if you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel yet, uh, you know, click the subscribe button. And, uh, you know, you're going to find hundreds of uh, videos that we've done on how to build a successful cleaning business. So, uh, until next time, that's all I have. Uh, so we'll see you later.